What's up guys, Kenneth in here. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but this uh, video was supposed to be funny. I decided to make a comparison of two different derailers from 19, uh, 1984, uh, Campagnolo Super Record and uh, 2015 Shimano 105. So this one was released almost, uh, almost more than 30 years ago, 32 years ago. And this one was uh, released a year ago. Uh, and I was trying to compare uh, the um, all the you know design and materials um, and everything between a high-end derailleur from 32 years ago and just mid-range derailleur from la from the last year. <laughs> I would like to assume that uh, the mid-range components now are much better than the high-end components uh, from. 1984 or something, 19 from 80s, uh, but it's just not like that. Uh, when we look at those two der derailers, uh, I must tell you one thing for sure. There was no revolution in the uh, components design or, or whatever. There was no revolution. You can see that those two derailers have exact sa same uh, design. They look different, of course, uh, you may be comparing the look of the uh, you know, Ford Mustang from those days and Kia Sportage from last year. The, look will be, the difference in the look will be pretty much the same, uh, like between those two derailers. But as you can see, we have the Binaco, we have the Pinaco, we have the parallelogram linkage, we have the cage and two pulleys. Uh, and that just applies to the other derailleur uh, as well. We do have the high and low limit screws uh, just as we do have in, these, uh, in this one, the newest one. Uh, it would be pretty much the same for Dura-Ace uh, except for the materials uh, made uh, or used for this derailleur. Uh, but you can also see how easy it was uh, the high or low and high limit screw. You can see them both just uh, here under the derailleur uh, today. You, you don't see actually how it operates. We do have the mounting bolt that we mount into the um, derailleur hanger, just as we have in the newest ones. Uh, we do have the screw that is um, assembling or fastening uh, the cable. Same applies uh, for today's uh, derailleur. Uh, two pulleys almost exactly the same even if we go further and see how they were made and just to work smoothly let's just take those two off and uh, yeah it's it's not funny it's really not funny because we are uh, reading about revolutionary design of new derailleur 2015-2016 Nothing really changes. Same parts apply to the pulleys. Just same parts. Exactly the same. It's, it's made in exactly the same manner. Um, the one thing I must tell you is that this 32 years uh, old uh, <laughs> uh, pulleys work just more smooth. And I would say that these are made from the just better quality, higher quality, quality materials. So improvement in, in terms of uh, components for myself at least should be that this should be easier this should be cheaper um, and of course uh, available for bigger audience today for many riders it's just not like that there was no uh, revolution uh, the titanium that the nature gave us thousand years ago uh, is just still the titanium the aluminium is still the aluminium uh, what we are developing is how to deal with titanium, aluminium and today also carbon fiber. We don't have carbon fiber uh, on this uh, 105 uh, derailleur. The pulleys are back onto our derailleurs and now if you are wondering which one is lighter, how do you think which one will be lighter? We have been reading about how they now cut the, the materials and they shape the materials and they make the materials just lighter. All right, Shimano 105 5800. 229, 28, 29 grams, 229 and Campagnolo Super Record, 32 years old, 182. 
182 versus 229 it's a huge difference of course we don't have any titanium um, materials here and this was a high-end uh, derailleur but we actually I would say we did learn how to use the aluminum uh, and make the, the structure of the derailleur lighter uh, but we don't have it lighter in my opinion, this Shimano 105 uh, Durello could be much lighter, but it isn't. Uh, it isn't very cheap also, uh, but it's not lighter because uh, Shimano has to produce and sell also the Shimano Altigra and Dura S components, which are good. But for the riders, for those who actually buy those uh, components, the real revolution would be to make lighter, easier, easier to maintain and cheaper components more available for bigger audience. This is what's changed for over 32 years of designing and developing new technologies. Uh, I'm not saying this derailleur isn't good, it's okay. But this one is from 2015, this one from 1984. Still much, much lighter. And hmm, would it be better? Uh, the shifting uh, performance uh, today is a bit better, but I can also tell you one thing that is much better on this uh, older Shimano Super Record um, derailleur. We see here a huge turn that the cable has to make going through the barrel adjuster and then the cable guide or cable stop here and then it goes right to the to the left or up to the um, uh, screw that is um, fastening the cable. Uh, on this old one it goes almost straight. Almost straight. The housing will take a same turn uh, to both derailleurs from the back. Uh, I would say, I would call a revolution for the rear derailleur if someone would finally design a derailleur that would have this barrel adjuster on this side from the front and the cable would be coming straight to the derailleur. One, no one made it so far. I don't know, I, I'm not a designer, but this would be kind of revolution for me at least. I would love to hear from you guys who were using those uh, Campagnolo or Shimano components from those years and what did you think about how it worked and, and what was its durability. So there was no revolution in terms of the components designing. Uh, we do have, in my opinion, the technologies to make a revolution, but the marketing uh, is not letting us have it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.